So since 2007, the Honor Flight has flown World War II vets and Korean War veterans up to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials that were erected for them, for their brave service and all the branches of the military that kept us safe. And today we're going to take a look at our trip to Washington, D.C. to see the emotion, the camaraderie, the friends, and of course honor these brave heroes on Good Day Columbia. Stay with us. So over the last, oh, I don't know, six or seven years or so, 20 times, South Carolina Honor Flight has gathered together brave American heroes, and I know they don't like to be called that, but I'll say it, uh, from World War II and Korea to make the journey from Columbia Metropolitan Airport up to D.C. to see the memorials that have been erected for them, to say thank you for their service. Bill Myers here with the Honor Flight. This and is such a cool event. You are 100% correct. They are American heroes. They are. They don't like, yeah. they do not like to be told that, but they are, and, and I'll say it every day, all day long for sure. Yeah. But let's talk a little bit about the Honor Flight. Started in 1970, or nine, uh, 2007 in the upstate, and now some 20 flights later, here we are leaving again with 100 more veterans. That's correct. What are these guys going to experience up there? I mean, I know there's going to be emotions and tears and memories of all these things going through their heads. A lot of excitement, a lot of uh, just emotional peace, right. really, that, you know, they were being rewarded and, sure. and acknowledged. And a lot of these guys uh, actually have not seen these memorials before. That's right. They've not seen the award, uh, the uh, memorials. Right. And uh, it's emotional for them. Sure. That these are things that the American public supported to honor them. Yeah. And it's, it's meaningful and powerful. How is the honor flight here in South Carolina? How is that funded? How do we, how do we pay for these vets? Because it doesn't come out of their pocket. We don't, we don't ask them to buy right. a ticket, right? They don't pay for anything, <laughs> and, 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 and they shouldn't. Right. Uh, it's by uh, public support. Mm -hmm. uh, we have fundraising, you know, uh, efforts, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a variety of uh, uh, service organizations right. help us out, and churches, and all kinds of community support make right. this all possible. Plus, the uh, guardians, mm -hmm. uh, to be a guardian of a vet, is okay. a high honor, right? And it also comes with a price tag. <laughs> a ticket, right? <laughs> yes, you're essentially buying a ticket for yourself right. and and the vet. That's amazing. And we have people that will do that over and over. Sure. And we have never run out of people who are willing to stand up and say, "I want to take a vet." Sure, that's uh, it's amazing. I am so looking forward to today uh, taking the ride here on, on Good Day and Watch Fox. We're so excited to be We're a part of We're glad to have it, you so. It's going to be a lot yeah. of fun, my friend. Looking forward to a very emotional, very moving day that we're going to remember for a long time, for sure. You bet. We will. Bill Myers of South Carolina yeah. Honor Flight. Stay with us. We're about to get on an airplane and head to our nation's capital here in this very special Tyler's Travels. All right, guys, this morning we are several miles above Raleigh en route to Washington, D.C. on the Honor Flight. Uh, and we're uh, joining more than 100 veterans of World War II and the Korean War en route to see the memorials that really were made for them, for their honor, for those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Now, when you served in the military in the 40s and 50s, it wasn't a voluntary thing for a lot of folks. It was, a, hey, come serve Uncle Sam means when you get done the war, you went back to do things, whatever you did before. You sold cars, college professors, and in some cases, you were a uh, football coach that you may know, including Art Baker here. Coach Baker, good to see you, my friend. You too, Tyler. So you uh, you were a coach. A lot of people are probably going to know you, especially in Gamecock Nation, but you were a coach at USC, Clemson, Texas Tech, the Citadel. So you've been around a, the gridiron, as they say. And I was a high school coach for 10 years, six of them in Eau Claire. So when did you serve? I was served from 50 three to 55. Okay. And most of my service was, except for a school I went to at Fort Bragg, I was a physical fitness instructor at Fort Jackson, teaching basic trainees. So the, your job was to make these guys ready to go to make sure they can win the fight and keep us free. Yep. We gave them 12 periods of physical fitness. I've seen guys that, that could double their pants in eight weeks. So all these people that talk about losing weight, that was a great way to do it. Come see Coach Baker is what he's saying for sure. So, you know, are you ready for this? I mean, oh, it's going to be an emotional experience about to happen to, to all these guys, you included. Well, I bet everybody on here has uh, relatives or friends that have been killed in the wars. And uh, it's just a great honor for me to be here and be on this trip. And my father was in the Second World War. My brother was in Vietnam. And I 
was in the Army doing the Korean. So, yes, it's a great thrill for me to be here. You know, it, it's interesting to watch these guys. A lot of you don't even know each other, but you're still, you're, you're already swapping stories and memories and, hey, I was there and things like that. Everybody on this plane and not on this plane that served has a special story, I'm sure. All right. Coach Baker, thank you so much for sharing your story. We're going to follow you throughout the day here as we head to Washington, D.C. on the Honor Flight. Stay with us. We're on Good Day Columbia. So this morning we continue this very special Tyler's Travels to Washington, D.C. along with more than 100 veterans of World War II in Korea on the Honor Flight. And one of those veterans here at the World War II Memorial, Miss Marion Sheely, but you go by Mandy. Correct. I was very quickly informed that you go by Mandy. Right, right. Now, you're a veteran of World War II. Correct. All right. Tell me about that a little bit. Well, I had my basic training at Fort Des Moines, Iowa. Mm -hmm. And then I was transferred to Fort Belvoir right okay. here in Virginia. Okay. And I was there for several months, and then I signed up overseas, right. and I went into Heidelberg, Germany, wow. in the occupation. Germany right. Of so you were in theater, as they say. Right. Good gracious. Right. Right. Now, what was your what was your MOS? And then you say, what was your job? Well, at uh, Fort Belleville, I worked in supplies, mm -hmm. and we traveled all over the state getting supplies for the other women. Right. And then in Germany, I did office work. Okay. And uh, then I took my discharge there right. and stayed on and worked for the government in the same job I had. So you just stayed there and you made maybe some better money, unfortunately, uh, right? Yes, <laughs> considerably. Wow. And uh, consequently, I traveled over most of, most of Europe. Good gracious. Have you been to the World War II Memorial before? No, it's my first trip. What do you, when you, when you find South Carolina, you're seeing all these other brave men and women that served with you, you don't even know until today. Right. What, what, what's going through your head? Well, it's just very inspiring. Right. Very inspiring. We're having a wonderful trip. Everybody's been so nice. Yes. Yeah, it, I can't even begin to imagine not only your service, but then being able to come back and see this, this wonderful thing created for you all. So, well, thank you so much, Ms. Sheely, for your service to the country, to the government later on, and of course for joining us on this trip as well. Thank you so much. Yes. Miss, uh, Miss Mandy Sheely, just one of the heroes, one of the veterans here we were celebrating today on this very special Tyler's Travels to D.C., taking the honor flight and just meeting some of these heroes who, well, frankly, kept us free so that here in 2014 we can be on TV and share special stories. Guys? All right, guys, we're continuing our very special coverage here in Washington, D.C. on the special Tyler's Travels, along with over 100 men and women who fought and protected our freedom in World War II and Korea. Speaking of Korea, as we're at the Korean uh, monument here in D.C., Sergeant Jack Farrah. Did I say that right? Right. All Farrah. right, sir. Farrah, so, so you were in Korea. Tell me your years and what you did. Uh, I was there. I was 18 years old when I went from basic training. Right. Where'd you go to basic? I took basic in Hawaii. Okay. First, I went to, uh, from Mississippi to uh, Fort Jackson, mm -hmm. and then they shipped me from Fort Jackson to Hawaii to take basic training. Okay. From Hawaii, they shipped me to Korea, and I, I, uh, I joined the 45th Infantry Division. I was in the 179th Fox Company. Okay. Uh, I went there in 52, and I left in 53. Mm -hmm. and. We was on, uh, our unit served in Sandbag Castle, Heartbreak Ridge, uh, Christmas Hill, and... Uh, so uh, you saw your time of action is what you're saying. Right, it was on the front line, yeah. What, is it, what does it make you feel like coming up and looking at this, knowing that you, know, you, you played a role in why this memorial is here? You know, and we call you guys heroes all the time, and I mean... Yeah, I, I it was... It took them a long time to build this memorial. It, uh, Korea was a uh, forgotten war. Right. So, and uh, I think it's good that they put this here. Sure. To remember the people that were served there. Are you? Do you find yourself looking back? I mean, surely we've had we've had buddies that, that are no longer with us. Right. You find yourself taking a second and looking back and saying, "Wow, that that was a time." Right. Right. Uh, I always look back. Uh, Think of uh, Korea. So. All right, Sergeant. Listen, we appreciate your service to our country, and uh, it's it's an honor for us to be able to share this ride with you and, and 99 other brothers and sisters okay. who are being honored today. Thank so thank you, Have my a friend. Good day. You too. As well, you guys, here in Washington D.C., you can't help but be here for a minute and, and look in the eyes of, of Sergeant Farish and and see that it may be 50 years old, but the emotion is right there still. The memories of fighting 
the loss, the willing to give, the patriotism, all very much alive right here in Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I am Sergeant Porter of the 30th Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Guard of Honor, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. In keeping with the dignity of this ceremony, it is requested that everyone remain silent and standing. Thank you. <coughs> Well, guys, it's really hard to put into a couple of minutes of television or even a story on Watch.com what happened today to Shelly, the photographer, me, and everyone else who took the honor flight. We met so many people, saw so many amazing stories. That's it. It was very thought-provoking. Uh, they gave a lot and didn't get anything when they came back. So that was really hard. In Korea? 
We lost almost 40,000 men in Vietnam. We lost over 55,000. And in World War II, I can't remember how many. But I, 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 I couldn't help but think about all of the, the people that we lost. And isn't this a great country? talk about these heroes that we met today from World War II and Korea. I said they're heroes and I still firmly believe that. There's another word I'm always going to think of now when I think of these guys and girls. Humble. Humble. They don't want to be heroes. They did their job. They served their country. And they're darn proud to have done that. But I say, you know what? The heroes are everyone else who didn't come home and everyone else they're here to honor. It's been an amazing day. Please, I'd like you to check out the Honor Flight, the South Carolina Honor Flight. We're going to put links for you at watch.com, but at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport, after an amazing day, Tyler Ryan, Watch Fox News.